Welcome to the first FinTech Monthly of 2015. And after the last few days and weeks have been full of articles sharing the predictions for FinTech in 2015, it's time to get down to some serious business. In this episode, we've got news from Monetize, Bitcoin investments, and challenges from challenger banks. TransferWise became London's second ever billion dollar startup following a huge Series C investment. The $58 million round was led by Anderson and Horowitz and included previous backers Sir Richard Branson and Peter Thiel. The deal sees Ben Horowitz take a place on TransferWise's board. Following this massive investment, TransferWise are keen to take their business global. In the words of their co-founder Tava Henriquez, bank customers have been hoodwinked for too long. Bitcoin has started 2015 with a bang as two startups, Coinbase and Bitreserve, have announced substantial funding raises. Coinbase's latest investment round obliterated the previous record for money raised by a Bitcoin company as they netted $75 million in Series C funding. Back in November, Bitreserve declared their intention to raise $6 million by crowdfunding. They ended up with $9.6 million in their account. Even with the valuation of Bitcoin ticking down over the last few months, there's still a lot of interest in this volatile sector. One of London's first fintech stars, Monetize, have put themselves up for sale recently after announcing their third profit warning in 12 months. Tech giant IBM are reported to be considering a bid for the payments company, whose 350 customers include the likes of Telefonica, Santander and Mastercard. Only time will tell if Monetize will turn the corner in 2015. Charter Savings Bank, a new challenger to the traditional banking institutions, has announced its intention to launch in spring 2015. With more and more banks of this type launching over the last year or so, we caught up with expert Richard Gould of Rag Lawrence Graham & Co to gauge his opinion of this exciting area. 2014 was a really interesting year for challenger banks. There was a huge uptick in applications going to the UK regulator. So that means we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of challenger banks, but do I think they're going to succeed? I think it's a big ask. The big four banks in the UK have got a real stranglehold on the market, but there's a lot going against the big banks. They've got really old systems, they've got really old technology platforms. So the new banks that are coming in that can scale quickly, built on new technology, built for mobile, built securely, can go global quickly. So if they choose their niches, which I think some of them will, I think that we're going to see a lot of disruption in the market. For more from Richard, check out his regular posts on Tech City News. It's been a very busy start to the year for Level 39 Technology Accelerator, who've launched a new floor at Canary Wharf. The launch of High Growth Space 24, the third floor operated by Level 39, takes the total space available for tech companies at Canary Wharf to over 80,000 square feet. The first occupiers of the floor are the finalists of Accenture's FinTech Innovation Lab, who are being hosted by Level 39 for the third year running. Keep your eyes on Tech City News for more news from the FinTech Innovation Lab. The UK's brightest and best FinTech companies are going on a trip to the Big Apple. Rush Shaw's Tech London advocates have joined forces with Innovate Finance to showcase British FinTech talent to native New Yorkers. The ambition of the mission is to further improve relations between the two cities that are, arguably, the FinTech capitals of the world. David Cameron has already blazed a trail between the UK and the US this year by taking a selection of cyber securities companies to meet US homeland security. Maybe this could be a big year for US-UK collaboration. That's all we've got time for this month. Do keep your eye on our Twitter feeds for updates. I've been Ben Goldsmith, and thank you for watching.